coach, the players to have a very long look at themselves because this is poor. I'm, I'm embarrassed and I'm not even there. Yeah. But obviously, as we said before, there's another chance with the World Cup uh, qualifiers and they can put uh, they can put smiles back on the nation's faces by winning that game. So I would like to see a little bit of a rebuild. I mean, going into that game, I think the coach will know the players that he wants to be using because I'm sure he would have ha he would have had a long look at these players for the past couple of weeks. So going forward, I still have hope. Obviously, um, this tournament was very disappointed, but we still have a World Cup qualifying. Just do a quick one. Talking about um, building the team, should the coach stay? I'm not one to be telling anybody to be sacked. I don't want somebody to lose their job. Right. And it's not for me to be making that decision. Right. But at the same time, I'm sure the coach will know that this, this result is very bad and it's very, very poor. Yeah. And he knows we are in this business, football business, you only stay when you have good results. But at the same time, I still think yeah, he deserves a bit of time and hopefully he can go through to the World Cup. Comoros knew they did not really need the points apart from playing for pride. Yeah. And they played gallantly to win the points. <laughs> Michael, the final words? I think I said before the game, this was uh, uh, Comoros' uh, um, Afri Af you know, the, the final, this was their final. They weren't going anywhere, even if they win. And it was their final, and actually they raised to the occasion, didn't yeah. they? You know, they rose to the occasion. Uh, they played extremely well. You can't take anything away from Comoros. They played well. They defended when they had to. They broke away and score. And surprise, surprise, a very strong Ghanaian team. Um, so Comoros will go home with their heads held high, even though they've not qualified. Um, but, but, I suppose everyone in Comoros tonight will be celebrating a, a big scalp like Ghana. You know, it was not expected. Well, so a very horrible day for Ghana football. Ghana out of the competition, but the competition continues. It's not the end of the journey for the Africa Cup of Nations tomorrow.